spoke to Jonah. Jonah, the people of Nineveh are being very selfish. I don't like it. Go tell the people of Nineveh to repent and change, or I will destroy them. But Jonah was afraid. He might be teased by the people of Nineveh. So he went to the beach, found a boat that was going in the opposite direction, and got on that boat instead. But Jonah should have known better. When you're dealing with God, you can run, but you can't hide. God sent a nasty storm, which tossed around the ship that Jonah's on. The sailors were very scared. Oh no, this is the worst storm ever. Let's throw stuff overboard so we don't sink. Not my, lap not my laptop, I just got it. There's no time to argue, start tossing stuff. Hey wait, where's that new passenger? You know the one? Find him and tell him what's going on. And so the captain looked and found Jonah sleeping in the boat. Get up, how can you sleep? Can't you feel that we're going to be killed by this storm? Maybe you can pray to your God that this will stop. God isn't going to listen to me. He's angry at me because I disobeyed him. Throw me overboard and the storm will stop. It's the only way. The sailors were sad about this idea. They tried throwing other things off the ship instead. But the storm didn't stop. They knew that they had to throw Jonah into the sea. So they picked him up and threw him overboard. One, two, three. I can't swim like this much longer. So God sent a big fish that go Jonah right down into its tummy. <laughs> Jonah was safe inside the whale, although he didn't like the rotten fish now, for three days and three nights. While he was in the fish's tummy with not much else to do, Jonah prayed to God. God. I'm sorry that I ran away from you. I should have listened to you. I didn't want to face the people, so I ran. I'll listen to you from now on. Right then, the fish opened its mouth and spat Jonah back onto dry land. As you might expect, God spoke to Jonah again. Get up and go to Nineveh. Tell the people of the city to repent and change, or I'll destroy them. This time, Jonah did as he was told and went to Nineveh. It was a long way, but when he needed to get there, he did what he was told. People of Nineveh, listen to me. In 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed if you don't stop being selfish. God wants you to love each other. It worked. The people of Nineveh said they were sorry. When God saw this, God decided not to destroy the city after all. But this new decision did not make Jonah happy. Instead, it made Jonah really mad. God had changed his mind. Jonah felt that this made him look bad. He, sat, he went and sat outside the city and pouted. God continued to look after Jonah. God made a big plant grow up over him. It was kind of like a pumpkin plant with great wide shady leaves like umbrellas. Jonah had liked the plant and felt quite comfy and safe in the shade of the plant God sent. But the next morning, God sent a long worm. This worm choked the plant and killed it. The day became hot, and Jonah thought he would die from the heat without the shade of his friend, the plant. I'm so sad. My plant is gone. God, why? I don't understand. I like that plant, and now it's dead. Then God gave Jonah a serious talking to. Why should you feel concerned for the plant? You didn't plant it or make it grow, and it died overnight. If you can feel concerned for the plant, how much more should I feel concerned for the thousands of people of Nineveh whom I created? Oh, now I get it. You love all your people. The people of Nineveh had learned the lesson God wanted them to learn. They repented and made God happy. And finally, finally, Jonah learned his lesson too. I should have done what God asked me to do the first time. That's right, Jonah.